Scott Hall at La Trobe University's Osborne Street campus was the scene of billowing smoke and flashing lights recently as firefighters and ambulance personnel joined forces with La Trobe University paramedicine students and the critical incidents response team to take part in a simulated emergency. The simulation was designed to prepare staff, students and community volunteer organisations for major emergency incidents in Bendigo. This is the biggest live exercise we've ever run in Bendigo. We've got somewhere in the region of uh, 100 uh, active participants on site tonight. That's uh, Country Fire Authority from the Bendigo, Kangaroo Flat and Golden Square Brigades. We've got an ambulance from Ambulance Victoria, um, about 40 paramedic students, both being casualties and uh, uh, taking the role of ambulance crews. And then we have um, our full emergency response team on site. Smoke machines were used during the exercise to simulate conditions that emergency services personnel face when operating in a burning building. Well that was the whole idea of the night, to make it as realistic as possible because we, we don't get the opportunity to train within these large scale buildings like this. The Trobe University was generous enough to offer the building. Um, then it was my job to sit down with my shift and work out how we would make the scenario as real as possible. And for that we, we used the aid of smoke machines, um, live casualties, we used the actual EWIS evacuation system uh, situated within the building um, and made the crews drag live hose reels through and hose lines through the building. And what that does is it gives them the idea of what it's actually like to be looking and doing rescue in a building that's heavily smoke logged. Latrobe's emergency plan was put to the test, enabling members of the emergency management team to gain valuable experience in the way large emergencies are run. We can test plans from the point of view of creating scenarios in a classroom and getting the individuals in the plans to run through what they do. But it's only when it's really on the ground, the smoke billowing out of windows, there's firefighters running around, we're in the dark we're operating by torchlight, uh, there's passers-by, there's strangers coming in to see what's going on. Our crew don't know who's a student, who's a member of the public for real and who's part of the exercise. So it's, a, it's creating a, a real situation for them to manage. While search and rescue crews looked for survivors, students from La Trobe University's <laughs> Bachelor of Health Sciences and Masters of Paramedic Practice course assisted professional paramedics to treat casualties. For the purpose of the exercise tonight, I'm working as the Shadow Incident Commander for Ambulance Victoria. So basically that means that I'm coordinating all of the ambulance staff that are here tonight. Um, so just taking, taking care of any of their needs, making sure they have all the resources they need, as well as communicating with all the other emergency services and um, organising like chopper evacuation and that sort of thing as well. I think one of the things that we really try and do with the La Trobe University course is actually make sure that yes they have the underpinning theoretical knowledge, so that means coming to lectures and tutorials, but in addition to that they really know how to put that into play in exercises such as this. So our course has a strong focus on using scenario work and hands-on practical experience such as this to really bring home the messages that they're hearing in those lectures and tutorials. Paramedic students not only gained first-hand experience treating casualties but also gained valuable experience working with incident control. Especially with the incident control sort of thing we don't normally do a lot of that in class so it's really an experience to be exposed to that tonight and and yeah, put everything like clinically based that we've learned into practice. All, all the Trobe University students, AV students in the Trobe have all been really accommodating. They were all really willing to participate and be involved. Uh, they took the briefings extremely well. They acted in a professional manner uh, and made the night exactly what it was tonight. Our guys, they, they didn't just come out as willing participants. Some of them I believe were quite difficult and were determined to stay within the, the confines of the building, which is good because in a real life situation, that's what you could be confronted with. So all the, the role players that were here, I thank them very much and the AV staff have done a wonderful job.